Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Are you enjoying this convocation? The Lord bless you. With respect to our presiding bishop, the Bishop Charles Edward Blake. God bless Bishop Jerry Macklin, the second assistant, distinguished general board members, and of course the board of bishops, chairman Bishop Sheard, our esteemed general mother, Mother Barbara McCrew Lewis, and all of the saints of God. We are having a wonderful, wonderful time. It's time to hear the voice of our presiding bishop who has a concern for you and the church globally. His tremendous vision has manifested in these 10, 11 years beyond your wildest expectation. Certainly he said to us 11 years ago, I see you in the future and you look much better. Tell three people we look much better now under Bishop Blake's leadership. Shall we rise to our feet now and receive and hear the voice of our esteemed chief apostle, the seven of secession, the Bishop Charles Edward Blake. Let's praise God as he comes to the podium. Thank you, Bishop Brooks. Please be seated. The power of the Lord is manifest. Spirit is anointing and blessing the people of the Lord. We're being delivered and blessed and healed. Miracles are taking place. Souls are being saved. The gospel is being preached and the praise of the Lord is going up. Let's clap our hands and praise God for this wonderful convocation. I want to thank God for all of the partners who have joined with us in sponsoring and taking care of the expenses of the convocation, joining with the people of the Lord as they share and as they give. Thank God for the publishing house with $150,000 contributed on this night. Come on, let's praise God for them. <laughs> praise God for AIM and their $100,000 contribution. Toyota and a $25,000 contribution. Eli Lilly and all the support that they provide for us. It is not wonderful that secular organizations are coming and sharing with us and blessing us to do ministry and respecting us to that degree. We are not just a little organization in the back streets of the city, but we are on the forefront ministering for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we are receiving significant assistance from others who come to join with us. I hope you're enjoying the convocation. We've had great ministry and great preaching, and we know that tonight will be no different. We have a great man of God who will share God's word. Souls are going to be saved. Miracles are going to take place. I want to thank God for those who are visiting with us. We have ecumenical guests and members from other organizations and other denominations who've come in to be with us every night of this convocation, and we're thankful for all of them. Accompanying our guest speaker tonight are a battery of bishops and ministers, and I want to mention their names. Bishop Thomas Scott, will you stand? Bishop T. Lane Grant. Bishop Michael Smith, Dr. Kevin Early, Dr. Mike Merritt, Dr. Dwayne Dawkins, Pastor Brian Mack, and Bishop J. Derek Johnson. Also all the way from the city of Los Angeles, we have Pastor John Terrius Tate of Mount Moriah Baptist Church. Would all of our guest ministers and guests please stand and let's give them all a rousing applause. 